legal district. Okay, eminent domain. Delilah once painted portraits for Barrister, Barrister Arnold Timsch, a corrupt aristocrat who uses legal powers to evict families from their homes and claim property for the Lord Region. Based on false accusations of plague, Barrister Timsch's niece, niece Talia hates him. She has promised to help you locate Delilah for a price. Meet with Talia to find out what she knows. As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Barrister Arnold Timps paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman, born rich. And now he was making a second fortune, seizing the assets of plague victims for the Lord Regent. But Barrister Timps was also fighting a private war with his own niece. Something to do with the family fortune. Lurk was probably right. We needed to speak with the niece first. Her feud with the old barrister was something we could use. I got a message to the barrister's niece, and she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. But the knowledge would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her. Bridge available. Explosive bolt capacity and arc mine capacity. Eh, two things I can't use. Stun mine capacity. Now that's something I can use. Alright, let's go with the stun mine. Alright. Renders the card. Renders the person unconscious. Perfect. Alright, what else do I got? Because I could always use some tranquil. Some sleep darts. Um, favors. Rune drop off. Whale oil delivery. There will be some conveniently placed whale oil attacks for the first game your way into the district. I honestly don't think that'll help. But the rune drop off. Our friend will leave a rune by the rune bridge for you to pick up. Rune drop off is always useful. Alright, more sleep darts, and that's about it. Start the mission. Oh, oh, start to be the other. Alright. Viewers, followers, chat, about the price is lower than. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, as bad as it sounds, I'm really not into that, but thank you. Oh, that's Billy Eilish. Not <laughs> Billy Eilish. <laughs> that was gentle. It's a singer. He'll snore for an hour. Talia should be waiting in Trevor's Close. It's an alley just past the Wall of Light. You'll know it by three whitewashed skulls. Shadow kill. Okay. Arcane bond. Oh, 
Oh, okay. This ability is only useful if you purchase the powers you intend to share with your assassins. To get the maximum benefit, wait until you've purchased each power that can be shared before buying that level of arcane bond. Alright. Yeah, I'm probably just going to grab a, uh... I'm probably just going to grab, uh, Ben Time. That always seems to be, you know, my answer for everything. You know, get spotted, Ben Time. <laughs> Chances are very good. Light. There's gotta be some way to bypass it. There's more activity to the city wall. Huh? As per usual, Ben time. Do <laughs> better make a pass over here. <clears throat> Looks like sleep darts, a soakalops elixir. Too bad. And I was able to avoid getting a, uh, uh, using, a, using darts. Oh, 
look at you, the master assassin. So you want to know about Delilah? Well, my uncle is bewitched by her, so he won't tell you anything. Mm -hmm. I require only two things. Get rid of my uncle, and bring me his last will and testament. In exchange, I'll tell you what you want to know about Delilah Copperspoon. And I'll pay you cold hard coin for your trouble. Hmm. Come back to me when it's done. Let's meet at the docks when you return. Alright. I'm honestly more annoyed at the fact that, uh... I'm more annoyed at the fact that you kind of played me, but alright. Legal district. Void gaze, but I honestly missed the heart. Oh, poo. Oh, man. I'll openly admit that almost got me. <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> Maybe not alert anybody. So they'll hear him dropping no matter what. Alright. Okay. If there's a better way to get around this. Of course, I'm not seeing one.
Ooh, legal district key. That works. So it's a good thing I came up here. Better keep his eye on the key then. Hatters are likely to come after him. Yep, mission closed. Eh, already got that. Okay. Yep, already. Been there, done that. Congratulations on getting your own squad. <laughs> hurt myself, but all right. <laughs> yeah. Scout up ahead. Try to find out where Tim is. There's an equipment stash on the rooftops nearby. We've been anticipating doing a hit on Tim for some time. I know. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. Oh, nice. I'll meet you up ahead. Blood 
Fox Heart. Your max mana has been slightly increased. Oh, okay. I'm good for that. Oh, whoa, there's a lot of runes around here. Now that is nice. Oof. Alright, some tightrope walking. I caught him snooping around nearby. He won't say who he is or what he's doing, but I locked him up just to be safe. He seems familiar to me. Reminds me of someone who used to do business with Tinch, but I'm not sure. Good work, Samus. Hmm. Now that that's handled, we can move on. You got the orders from Tinch, right? Isn't it? <laughs> you wouldn't be in this district unless you were after Timsh's head. What do you want? Revenge. To do to Timsh what he did to me. I want him homeless, a uh, victim of one of his own eviction documents. I've prepared one, complete with the forged signature of the Lord Regent. Please, go to my old apartment. It's right next to Timsh's estate. Here's the address. But I doubt you can get inside from the streets. There you'll find my journal, which contains the entire plot and everything you'll need. Mm. But you're a businessman like I once was. I don't expect you to do this for free. If you do go to my apartment, you'll find something stashed there. Consider it your payment in advance. Hmm, nice. Timsh thinks he's invincible because he carries a letter from the Lord Regent, giving him legal immunity from the state seizing his goods in case of plague. He carries it everywhere, like a talisman, but he's also drafted the instrument of his own destruction. The document he uses for evictions is a generic form drafted by the office of the Lord Regent. It was trivial to acquire a blank one. Acquiring a forgery of the Lord Regent's signature was less easy, but thankfully some of my old connections are still loyal. Now, all I need to do is swap the two documents. Getting close enough to Timsh to do it won't be easy. I may need help from a professional. Once that's done, the fool just needs... The fool just needs a push to go down, and that's the second part. Inside Timsh's basement, there's a device that cir circulates air in the building. If some material happened to find its way into the device, the building would reek like a weeper's den. I had to be particular about the actual materials, as I do not wish to infect the guard or servants with plague and cause needless suffering. The unsavory gentlewoman living in Unit 10 has offered to provide the odorous item and a sturdy sack to contain it. She craves my rune in exchange, so I will be forced to part with it. She has given me a key to her unit so I can go and get the sack when I'm ready to make my move. Okay. question is how I get to apartment 10, because that's honestly all I really care about. Oh wait a minute, did I forget the eviction document? Oh yeah, Because yeah. <laughs> I would have been pissed if I forgot that. The question is, how do I get over to her? I should 
focus on getting to apartment 10 first. <clears throat> I don't know if I can make this jump, but Blink might make it easier. There we go. Ooh. That was a tight jump. I don't want to have to make another... Ah, oh, fucking Christ. Alright. Right okay. <laughs> Goddamn, why the hell do you have to be so difficult? Alright. And. Okay. Oh, Christ. Thank you, Blink. Seriously, if I haven't thanked uh, this power enough, I definitely am getting my money's worth here. All right. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, look through here. Oh God. Cultist scribblings. This one was father. He sired six of three mothers. He drowned one of them, but it was not his fault. One day the child's grandfather discovered what happened, but the old man did not agree with th that assessment. Uh, this one worked so hard he broke both of his hands. When he was of no more use, they threw him out. His mother cared for him until she died, after which he turned to begging. Then he died. Oh god. This one liked to carve wood. Once he carved a small whale, he spoke to it and, and kept it in his pocket. Its grains knew all of his secrets just as I do. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, lovely. Oh. I've always wondered, what does he smell like? Rotting flesh, wild flowers. Does he ask you questions? I wonder when he'll speak to me. That's if he will. Here's one last lesson, for old time's sake. <laughs> the barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points, but he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was too late. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood and filth. The Empress is dead, and the water's rising. You've got Rothwild packed into a crate bound for the frozen north, Dav. Surprisingly clean work for a man with so much blood on his hands. Did the Empress change you? Or do you think this will help you dodge what's coming? You'd better hurry. You're running out of rope. <laughs> you were in a daze. I hope it was enlightening. I kind of, I really like that. Apartment 10 key, but I already got one, so. Now the question is, where is the... Ah, here it is. Cultist scribblings. This one was born to a wealthy family. He stayed out in the countryside because it was the only place he could see the stars at night. He was never educated, so he did not know what they were. He used to pray to them. Odorous sack. What 
shoulders with the bust of the Lord Regent. Guy obviously likes himself, loves himself too much. Alright, let's look at the keyhole. What a relief. After Talia's visit this morning, I thought the barrister was ready to start a war. Damn. Now he's downstairs laughing. He put her in her place. Even with all his maneuverings, it's the simple victories that give him the most pleasure, I think. <laughs> oh, crap. Wonder if anyone would notice if this was gone. Was a baker's apprentice in Daniel Tower. A friend to Jason and the new girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater. What will satisfy you? Because you won't get more. I ought to just kill you. I'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters. Stay away from me. There are great changes coming, and I'll expect you not to interfere. I have no words in the essence you want to expect. But as for Arnold Timsh, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Well, that's fucking creepy. Is that who you were looking for? Mm, stone Cold Heart. Oh, well. She's a bit of a bitch. And the artwork's hopeless. I know you have your reasons. Yes, I always do. Mr. Timsh, or Tim, Timsh, oh, fuck, I already forgot how to say his fucking name. I, I'm afraid I cannot in good conscience remain your mother's physician. The way you repeatedly deny her access to practices which could potentially restore her lucidity is nothing short of a death sentence, and I wish no part of it. Good day to you, sir. Dr. Pa Patridge. Oh, you, wow, this guy really is a prick. Hmm, that's nice. Mother? This is Arnold. If you happen to awaken while no one is present, I've prepared this for you. To remind you of recent events to help clear your mind and put you at ease. The plague has ended. I have married and will become Prime Minister, just as you always wanted. My sister and brother are both here and doing well. Your last will and testament has been written and approved. We all love you, Mother. Now go back to sleep. Everything is fine. Oh, God. 
Letter from Owen. Dear Arnold, thank you for inviting my wife and me over for dinner last week. We both had a splendid time. I also appreciate you being so patient with her episode. Not many people are as understanding, and you showed considerable grace. I am also happy I was able to confide in you with my business arrangements. I, I am sure you'll be able to keep them strictly confidential, but it was a relief to finally be able to vent about the frustrations I must endure daily to a colleague who understands those sort, the, these sorts of things. I hope that you will allow me to return the favor and play host to you host to you for an evening. Sincerely, Wiles Roland. Alright. Alright. Now that I'm done pretty much robbing him, Tim Scott, do we really need that alarm device in my office? It's ugly and the colors clash. The cable is marking up the woodwork. I am positively certain that the way it's been attached to the floor will cost a few thousand in coin to mend, Arnold. Alright. Come here, you fucking arrogant prick. Lethal. Place the sack and set the air circular in the basement. Ah, okay. Well, that's all I need. Alright, I just need to do a few more things. I thought he was a floor below, but eh, this worked out in the end. All because I got a little greedy.
Ah, that's alright. You'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so. Somewhere, scum. Silk, I'll bet you. Barrister Timps can afford nice things, since he works for the Lord Regent. Doing what? Anyone taken away with the sickness forfeits their property. He does all the legal details, makes it proper. Doesn't seem fair to lose all your things like that. It must be, though. Lawyers know these things. Maybe they give it to children. Put the 
the sack in the air circulate. Ooh, another bone charm. Strong arms. Oh, awesome. That is his reward for information leading to the discovery of Dunwall. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, return to the legal district. Waterfront to meet Talia. Mission clues. Okay, Tim carries an important key with him at all times. Ten thousand coins upon the recovery of her or her remains. Be advised, claiming the reward does not confer legal immunity. Okay, I gotta head to the waterfront district. Marking out the general, the general, but to the waterfront district. Hmm. Well, these guys are out in force. We got a problem. <coughs> ah, that's why. Because of me. Target neutralized. Barons for Timch. Interesting.
pretty much one of the. This oh, area fuck. is under lockdown. Any unauthorized individuals are to be considered suspicious and confronted immediately with lethal force. Oh, thank God. There we go. His enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as a That'll agreed. do nicely. Perhaps better. Probably. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant of the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older. And made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to mm. Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. That's all I know. I hope pieces. you find what you're looking for. Exit through the sewers. Now that's fascinating. Tim, she's ruined. He'll rot in Cold Ridge Prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's poetic, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong about you, Dad. Are you ready to go? Yes, I think Let's I'm go home. Here. Hey, whoa, whoa, I killed somebody? Who, who the hell did I kill? Ah, Alright, well. I guess there goes the clean hands run. That, that actually kind of annoys the crap out of me. Exactly. 